Levine, let me ask you, why should we as individuals, whether we have ADHD or we're anxious or we're depressed or we're in a relationship with problems, why should we care about the things neuropsychology can teach us? Uh, I think the first thing is uh, just learning to manage uh, stress. One of the things that um, in our society, we use the word stress usually to imply a manageability. But if I put a truck on a bridge, I'm really stressing the bridge. I'm not overstressing the bridge unless it's too large a truck. So really, anytime there's a demand on us, uh, there's uh, a stress response. That's our fight or flight system, pumping a little adrenaline and cortisol. And it doesn't have to necessarily be unmanageable. And particularly, uh, I've had a lot of uh, new clients uh, since COVID, because the problem isn't usually uh, s something stressful or demand, it's more stress. And everybody's baseline of, of stress has been going up. So one of the things that um, neuropsychology can teach us is how to manage the underlying effects of living in a stressful world. So that applies almost to everybody because very few people don't have stress in their lives. And they get to understand how that stress can impede them from like changing uh, a habit. You know, lots of times people will be saying, well, I need to get to the gym more often or I need to uh, be on a diet, but they don't understand why uh, even though they know what to do, uh, they don't know why they're not doing it. So in other words, we kind of like think that everything's going fine and along in our lives. And then all of a sudden it's like, we don't feel content anymore. Uh, for example, uh, most people have a screen addiction of some kind and, uh, it's kind of crept in. I meet very few people who who don't say that they spend too much time on their screens or watching TV or, um, you know, they're not getting as much exercise. So I think one of the things that uh, happens is people don't realize that less than 5% uh, of their processing is in their conscious awareness. So why we do things, all the little things, uh, is in our subconscious and neuropsychology teaches us a lot about how to manage that 95%.